corker run change from the team that beat Armagh on Easter Sunday, but by comparison with last year's All-Ireland semi-final, there are no fewer than eight changes. Among them, Michael Shields and Jess Spallan among the backs, and James Masters at corner forward today. All three, of course, played in the 2007 All-Ireland final. Monaghan's restructuring is less radical. Only three of today's starters didn't begin the last match here in the 08 qualifiers, which of course was against Kerry. Shane Duffy is back between the posts, Darren Hughes came on as a sub in that game, and it's a whole new experience for number 13, Mark Downey. Referee Sil Doy from Wexford gets the Division 2 final underway. It is Monaghan who won the toss, opting to play from left to right in the first half. And there's a very, very light breeze in their favour for the opening 35 minutes. Conor Cunningham, second here in charge. And as far as Paul Kerrigan here, had a right storming match against Armagh two weeks ago. And Damien Freeman's after him, not able to catch him. Reinforcements required, and nobody able to get a tackle on him. And that's a great point and an excellent start by Paul Kerrigan. Well, the team best supported for this Division 2 final is certainly Monaghan. Great support for them here. Now they want to see something from their team. Conor McManus trying to make some headway. Here's Dick Clarkin. Playing it outside here. Rory Woods coming for it. Two men inside. One of them was Downey onto his left and put over the bar. Mark Downey with that first point for Monaghan, which comes in the fifth minute. Noel O'Leary tries to advance, does so, still Noel O'Leary, nicely played inside, Kelly, oh, what a challenge at the end by Dick Clarkin, it's gone for a 45, but Paddy Kelly had the goal at his mercy there, or so it seemed, and Mona have to thank their experienced midfielder Dick Clarkin for going all the way back here and tying up the centre-half forward after Noel O'Leary had made the advances, nice release to Kelly, and just as he was about to pull the trigger, Dick Clarkin went bravely down at his feet. Desi Mon was after him, Masters there too, back once again to Paddy Kelly. This time it is Daniel Goulding, and Goulding off his left, beautifully over the bar. His second of the day, the first to come from play, and a very clever cork attacking move produces a fifth point. I'm certain the Monaghan fans will be thinking in terms of all the goals they've got so far in the league matches. They've scored in six of the seven league matches, scored 12 in all, could do it one here, has got ugly. Gets away from Nicholas Murphy. Held up here by Paul Finlay and surrounded by Cork players in the end. Fouls the ball and the referee says play on Cork 2. Just Ballon taking it to Graham County. Nobody near him. He can go all the way through Graham County and he's happy to put it over the bar. First of the day for the Bantry Blues man who is captain of Cork. Shane Duffy, plenty of Monaghan players there for it, but they can't hold on to it initially, and Rory Woods battles hard, wins the free kick, wants to take it quickly himself, and into the two-man inside forward line. Tommy Freeman going for this one. Quick look up. Back it goes towards Conor McManus, and this time his luck is in, straight and right between the posts, and it's six points to two. Breaking it down and breaking it to Corkman, to Paddy Kelly, released to Paul Kerry, going to got the first point of the match. Nicely back in towards Alan O'Connor, released this time to Jerry Spillane. He was an all-star in 2006, and he kicks this one over the bar. That means the two members of the half-back line for Cork have now managed to score from play. Well, once again, his team has not made a particularly bright start. Huge run in, pressure on Alan O'Connor, the other backs coming to help. Good combined play as Ray Carey gets it out. Not terribly far. Gologly again here. Nicely released inside. Freeman. Another one. Oh, that time it was Mark Downey who had the opportunity. And Alan Quirk to the rescue. Alan Quirk saves from Mark Downey. Gologly freeing it through here. Then it was Damien Freeman. There was a wonderful opportunity and a fine save by Alan Quirk. Oh, that's Daniel Goulding slipping inside John Paul Moan for a moment. I think there might have been a goal chance on for him. But he was thinking of only one thing, that's putting it over the bar. And another point 
coming in the 35th minute. Quickly release forward. Here's Vinnie Corey. Has had a spell on the forward line, of course. All the way down it goes towards Rodham. Release there towards Tommy Freeman. And Freeman looking for the opening score of the second half. And it comes after a minute and 20 seconds. It's just Tommy Freeman's first point of the match. It's Monaghan now trying to pick up the pieces, but they kick it back to a court man who's Paddy Kelly. On as far as Alan O'Connor, released in here to Pierce O'Neill, just in the action, and that's fisted over the bar. Not a bad way of marking your introduction. Cork's first point of the second half. This time Monaghan under pressure from Alan O'Connor's kick. Runs all the way through to Daniel Goulding, such a clever forward. Turned beautifully, struck it with lovely fluency. It's his fifth point of this final. John Paul Mole now. Monaghan have a big date coming up in four weeks' time. And that's in the championship at Celtic Park against Derry. On the attack again here with Conor McManus. Trying to romp with Noel O'Leary. Back towards Finlay once more. Paul Finlay kicking it with the right, showing. The left is not just for hitting the freeze, the right is also a mighty weapon. And that's a third point for Paul Finlay. That's fisted forward by Nicholas Murphy. On as far as Paddy Kelly. With great vision. Picks out Jess Milan. Dodge it around Kieran Hughes. Back to Kelly again. Good link man. Here's Graham Canty. Drives the team forward time and again. Holding on to it here is John Hayes, again, very, very far away from the target. Just two men inside. One of them is Paul Kerrigan. Has the pace, has the direction. That one is right. Alan O'Connor keeps it in play, has a support player outside, goes on his own, shows he can do it, and he puts it over the bar. Really good point by Alan O'Connor, the St. Columns player from West Cork. 63 minutes are gone. Vinnie Corley has decided to uh, forego the full-back position and come out. Dermot McArdle, they're all pushing forward. Monaghan are looking for scores. They're five behind in this Division Two final. And McArdle has a go himself, and that draws a white flag. Really good play by Dermot McArdle. Big smile. It's his first point in this year's league. Oh, this time the kick out. Low into the ground to Jers Bilan, who had to be vigilant. Unhurried, unrushed, just hold on to it with nice, slick, tossing movements. Ray Carey, Noel O'Leary now, keeping this chain of passes going. Up as far as Kerrigan, he's got O'Leary in support, didn't give it to him. Still Kerrigan, still Kerrigan, cutting it across to Masters, into the net! The first goal of the match, scored by James Masters, comes in the 65th minute. One or two red and white flags of court to salute that score by Masters, made by Kerrigan. He had O'Leary inside as well, didn't need him, but Masters supplied the finish, his first goal in this year's league. And it's 114 to 10 points. Gary McQuaid, Vinnie Corey, nicely forward by Darren Hughes, down towards Kieran Henrati against Ray Carey, steals inside, Monaghan look for a goal, you never know, Freeman is going high, is it inside the post? It is, another for Tommy Freeman, four points for the Maharakluan player. Gary McQuaid, low inside this time, but uh, not much that Tommy Freeman could do about it. In the end it goes off Lynch, it's going to be a line ball to Monaghan. 40 seconds still to be played. Touched away out here as far as Paul Finlay. And Paul Finlay with a late point for Monaghan, a fourth for him. 114 to 12 points. <laughs>